Space Dan Gaming, what's good, mate? Let me know if, if the audio is okay and stuff on this, guys, by the way. And visuals as well. 420 Loki, what's good? Paddy, what's good? Paul, what's good? I hope you're all well. So I'm trying something else, basically, apparently, right? And this, I'm just testing the waters here. I've been told... If you go live off your phone like this, you end up in the YouTube shorts feed and it blows up. So that's the plan. See how well we do. I've It's just a test stream. I'm going to stay live for a bit. Just a little chit chat like we used to do. Let me pull my chair up a little bit. There we go. Looks and sounds good. Space Dan Gaming. Well, what can I say, lad? What can I say? <laughs> I'm just kidding, obviously. Tim, what's good, mate? Uh, the Carcass King, what's good? Conroy, I hope you're well. Yeah, sound. Well, th the thing is, right, it's mad. I go live on my phone, right, and you can see me clearly. I've got none of my lights on. But when I go live off my PC with me, like six, how much was it? Six hundred and, £660, Sony A6000 that I paid for, right? That camera, the quality's just not it. It's just not good. So, yeah. Let me just, I've got the, I've got the chat on the screen in front of me so that I can read it better so I don't have to do this. Wadji, what's going on, lad? Hey, I'm going to just sort of move my camera a little bit. That's better, isn't it? Islam says, hello from Saudi Arabia. Well, hello, mate. Hello back at you from the UK. I just want to see how this does. I want I want to know as well if anybody comes across this in the in the short feed. So apparently that's a thing, right? That's the thing. If you're on your phone, it comes up in the short feed. Make sure as well, guys, you're smashing that like button on the stream. That helps massively, obviously, boost it further. <coughs> Games uninstalled, but with the game says a monkey tree games. Yeah, I can only I can only imagine how you're feeling. Like it I like I've always said for years now, if I if I wasn't somebody who had to learn about the mechanics of the game um and stay, you know, up to date with updates and, and things like that and what guns are meta, what recoils on which gun now, like I wouldn't play the game. But obviously it's a big part of what I do. So I don't play the game. <laughs> I analyse the game, if that makes sense. And I proved the point recently with, with my gameplay and with like the clips I was putting out on, on Twitter and, and images showing my stats, right? That when I put my mind to it, I can actually play the game. People don't realise like someone's KD doesn't necessarily mean whether they're good or bad. I have tanked my stats, not intentionally, but going into the game to check for a glitch or a bug or this or that, right? Yo, Mazza coming in with the £2 dono. My pocket money is now your pocket money. <laughs> nice one, mate. Buy a pack of Pokemon cards with that. Oh, wait. Even, even back in the 90s, Pokemon cards were 250 actually, so, nah. I'll, I'll put that towards a pack of Pokemon cards, mate. Thank you. I might just get £2 worth of chocolate or nibbles, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still a fan of COD, one of the best FPS games out there. It's just shit that cheeses are ruining it. Paddy, you're right. It is one of the best FPS games out there. That's why people keep coming back to it. Uh, every time there's a new FPS game comes out, they're like, oh, is this the COD killer? Nah, nothing can kill COD other than Activision themselves, which has been proven, you know, because their numbers have tanked massively. Um, yo, good morning from Orlando, USA. Francisco, good morning from the UK, mate. YGFC says, uh, I've gone back to Fortnite. Rather get sweated on by real tryhards than cheaters watching me through walls. You're right, mate. I do think it's a big, big thing. But, I mean, Fortnite, probably not for me. I'd maybe make the move back to Apex if I wanted to. But to be honest, like I, I've, I've actually gone back to playing Cold War. <laughs> like, I play Cold War now, and... It was out of since Modern Warfare 2019 to now, Cold War was the only multiplayer game that had no cheating problem. There was one or two, but in the grand scheme of things, no cheating problem. Do you know why? Because it was built on a different engine to all of the other games, and all the other games were built on the MW 2019 engine, which got infiltrated by cheaters early on. So, like Cold War, if you want to play like multiplayer or zombies, you know, Cold War. Let's have a look at some more of these comments. The more I watch this, your videos, the more I start to believe a lot of these streamers are cheats. I'm a free KD player in COD, and I honestly can't explain how these streamers never get shot in the back. So Convoy is a free KD player, and these guys, 
got run around having everyone believe that we're all bots, right? I, I'd say, honestly, I, I'm between a 1.5 and 2KD player. If I really wanted to try hard, I could probably go over the 2KD on average over thousands of games, right? I just don't like to sweat. I like to have fun. I like to do stupid stuff in the game that's funny, yeah? Like, oh, it'll be me versus two people and my team at all, like, praying that I get the win and I'll just jump off a building and die. Like, how funny is that? Just for their reaction, you know what I mean? Stupid stuff like that. Uh, what about Bloom TD6? Joker, I don't know what that is. Uh, you don't like PUBG from Rude Boy? It wasn't something I got into. Like, bear in mind, Battle Royales were... I never got into a Battle Royale until Blackout came out in Call of Duty, so obviously straight away my initial impression of Battle Royale was Call of Duty. PUBG, when it came out on PlayStation 4, I, d I did try it, but didn't enjoy it at all. It just felt too clunky, do you know what I mean? I think if I'd have tried it when it was first released on PC and stuff, I probably would have enjoyed it. I like Vanguard multiplayer, says John Root. Yeah, but unfortunately Vanguard was riddled with cheaters as well. I just don't think there's as many people playing Vanguard. You get a game dead quick in uh, Cold War. I've been playing the 2v2 gunfight tournaments on Cold War with my mate Snail, and it's been banging, to be honest. <coughs> don't forget to hit that like button, guys, as well. I don't know how to do it on this. Um, should be fairly simple enough to do, though. Try and get it to as many likes as possible. Meant to be this short feed we're meant to be in. It's meant to be banging. Like, I've heard people are going from having, like, three, 400 viewers to having, like, 10,000 viewers just from being in the short feed, but it all comes down to you guys hitting that like button. So let's see how we can do. Um, the enemy, we did monkey tree game says the enemy, his aim is locked onto the down enemy leg like right when the enemy is popping up. I've missed the first part of that. Sorry, mate. Um, apparently, there's an Activision employee selling source code to cheap developers to still work there. Um, Mark, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked at that. I'd probably say it was probably more someone who's been let go who sold the source code out of spite, but, like, again, that's all speculation and uh, just theoretical, yeah, or conspiracy, whatever way you want to look at it. I have a 0.78 KD first time playing for over two months. How did I get a guy with 3 KD in my game, VPN? Um, so, Jonathan, the way, the way lobbies work is you will have some very good players in the lobby and some very bad players in the lobby and then a, a mix of people your level. So you you could be one of the bad players in the lobby, you could be one of the good players in the lobby, or you could be one of the medium ones, you know what I mean? Um, it's never like, every lobby isn't like, oh, you're 0.78 KD, so we'll put you in a lobby full of people who are 0.78 KD. It's not how it works. However, if you're, running a, if you, if you're a 0.78 KD and you're coming up against people like 3 KDs like 10, 15 times a game, then yeah, I mean, listen, that's sus. Like they've, you're in the bot, the bot, the other bots in the lobby. You know what I mean. Ah, um, Mazza, there you go. Listen to Mazza's advice, guys. Cold War Aussie lobbies. What was this? Cold War Aussie lobbies are terrible. Hackers boot you off the game. Well, I've never had. I've never dealt with any cheaters. So, booting people off the game is different, and that's just people like. That's not people aim button and wall hacking. You know what I mean. Um. But that could also just be a connection issue. We need X Defiant to release ASAP. But this is the thing, Conroy. X Defiant was all right. It looked the part, but that's got a cheating problem as well, just so you know. Um, I love going back to PUBG once. I, I, won't, I won't play PUBG. It's just not my thing. Tom Chalky says it's full of hacks and cheats. Also, PC has advantage. Fortnite's a well better game. Yeah. I mean, listen, I like Fortnite. I've only ever played it with my kids. Do you know what I mean? And now I've just publicly stated to the world that I've got kids. I don't know whether anyone knew that. But yeah, like like my son um, played Fortnite with him when he was younger. And um, hey, I was good. Hey, I was good. You know, I was playing in his lobbies and he was like, you know, he, he plays ranked play now. So he does well in ranked. I don't know what, what the ranking system is, but he's like always one, f one from the top. So, like, he's doing well. He's only a kid still, you know, so. But for me, I, I, I just think it's enjoyable. Like, it reminds, it's almost like, it reminds me of games I used to enjoy back in the day, like Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, you know, because of the colours popping and stuff like that. But then it's like that mixed with, with like, a Battle Royale. But the realistic Battle Royales, like, like Call of Duty, they're just so much better. It feels more real. It's more intense. 
you know, even the likes of Apex, like it's just too futuristic with laser beams and stuff like that. It doesn't make sense to me. I have 70k views just with shorts this last month. Yeah, shorts are fine. I've got obviously for you guys who don't know, go and fo go and follow and subscribe to more Bad Boy Beaming. Um, that's where I post all my short form content, and it's uh, it's popping off at the minute. Uh, videos are doing between ten and fifteen k views each, um, and we're on like twenty three point two k subscribers. So the idea, my plan for the for the year is to try and get a hundred k subscribers on more Bad Boy Beaming. And I want to try and reach 20,000 subscribers on Bad Boy Boxing, right? Now, I'm not trying to do this through getting my following here to go and follow me over there. I want to try and just do it naturally, you know, organically and um, through, like, the short feed on, on more Bad Boy Beaming and through, like, people enjoying me for me on Bad Boy Boxing and finding me through the algorithm. Um, so it's been this, it's been stressful this year so far because I've been pumping the hell out of the content on those channels, as well as this one. Um, people don't understand how much work goes on in the background for me. Like, t tomorrow, I'm in Birmingham tomorrow at a boxing event. Uh, so uh, if any of you guys live in the Birmingham area, right, I've actually got two spare seats on my VIP table. If any of you guys want to actually come and meet me, hey, listen, I'll bring you into the event. I'll bring you in and sit you with me at my table, complimentary champagne, the lot. So, if anyone's in the Birmingham area tomorrow, let me know. Guys, smash that like button for me. We want to see how this goes. <coughs> I'll be honest with you, though. I don't know whether this is actually uh, in the shorts feed or not. I'm going to try. I'm going to try and figure it out now. Right. Shorts, we're going shorts. I'm literally just scrolling through the shorts feed on one of my other accounts now to see if this pops up. Can you don't know that it's getting hot at the body shop doing something unholy. Yeah, it's when the song plays and it gets stuck in your head. There's just nothing. I feel like this has just come up as a normal live stream. Yeah. Don't know. Don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Zelena called you Dad Bod Beeman. Just a thug from around the way. Where did he say that? Please send me the link to that. That's hilarious. Because uh, this Dad Bod. Wait, what? Dad Bod. That bud, Hush! look, hey, that bud, hey, Zelena, do you want some? You can't even see. <laughs> look, 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 you've got a dab bud. I'm, hey, I'm hench, mate. I am hench. Fucking dab, dab bud, who's he talking to, mate? Get him to Birmingham tomorrow, and we'll do a special guest fight. <laughs> nah, to be fair, right? To be fair, I've got a dad bod. Like, I'm not arsed. I've got a bit of a old school beer gut or whatever you want to call it, but I don't drink beer, so it's just kebabs. But, hey, fizz is a fiddle and can fight like an absolute machine. Put 10 men in front of me and I'll fight them all. Yeah, guys, hey, smash the like button on the stream for me. So we're on 44 likes. We've got 71 people in here. I've heard people talking about this is meant to be like the new meta going live on, on the uh, shorts feed. But I don't know whether this is actually on the shorts feed. So anyone who comes in the chat from the shorts feed, drop a comment below. It's playing differently on my mobile, mate. Sorry, Mazza, what do you mean? Mazza, why don't you come down then, lad? Why don't you come to Birmingham with us tomorrow? Leave it, leave it early, though, like 11. Wait there. Leaving about 11 a.m. Don't get home till about midnight, 1 a.m. Something like that. I bet that's what you'll do if if we put 10 dudes in front of you. I bet, yeah, come on then. Uh, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Happened. Don't make me do stuff like that, mate. 
So I don't know what's going on here. It's meant to be the method on the short feed, but we don't know what's going on. So I don't even know if I'm on the short feed. I'm trying to find it on the short feed, and guess what? It's just not happening. Pardon me. Not working. Don't know. Genuinely don't know. Anyway, it's done, isn't it? <coughs> um, better bot than 99% of streamers. Well, that's it, Helen. The thing is, a lot of these guys sit there like fat messes for years of their life and then they make millions, you know, like, for example, Aiden, prime example. And then he went and got, got himself a nutritionist and started going to the gym with a personal trainer. And he's actually lost a lot of weight, so respect him for that, but he's still a dirty little cheater. Do you get what I mean? Um... Chuck, thank you for that, mate. Yeah, everyone hit the like button on the stream. We want to see if we can boost this. Better be careful before AOI clips you. <laughs> oh, my God. Happy. You're saying that like I, like I know that you're going to actually send that to him. That's what kind of person you are, mate. You're going to clip it. You're going to send it and be like, AOI, hey, make something out of this. Like, like AOI hasn't ruined me enough over the past couple of years, let's be honest. Like, he's done some of the best skits I've seen in the YouTube scene for a while, you know. Where are you in Brum tomorrow, that just John? Uh, yeah, I'm in Brum tomorrow. Um, uh, Birmingham City Football Ground. I'm going to a boxing event there. Conroy, calm down with the glizzies, man. Shh. Daddy, chill. Daddy, chill. Oh, that was the best thing I ever did. Did you see that on my bad boy boxing channel when I absolutely ruined Hasoka for getting his dad involved? His dad's going, oh, good. 24 inch biceps, I will knock bad boy beaming out. I'm thinking, like, I'll fight you and your dad on the same night, mate, no problem. Can't because I'm on my phone. <laughs> Unlucky! <laughs> oh, that's. I'm happy about that, I'm not going to lie. I am happy about that. Um, so I, do, you know what's, do you know what's sick about going live on your phone as well, right? I can be live, right? And I can still utilize all my PC equipment to record YouTube videos while I'm live. So we, this could be like, I could do this for like members only. Go live for members only and have it like where they can see behind the scenes of me recording my videos. I think that's something I might do. Something I might do, what are we saying? You got a, what's that? You got a chance to play Rebirth yet? Thought, I've not played Rebirth yet. Um, but from what I've seen, and by the way, I've seen this from one of your tweets, everyone go and follow Happer on Twitter. Um, I think it was all sweet, anyway. It might have been caps actually. Um, but yeah, everyone go and follow Happen anyway. But like, they've absolutely destroyed prison, haven't they? Like, they've like bombed it out and stuff. It was always going to happen. They, they can never just go, all oh, right, everyone enjoyed this map, so we will bring this map back. It's even like Nuketown, for example, like they, they, they bring it back all the time and then change all the colouring and stuff, and it's just annoying as hell. Just give us original Nuketown, that's all we want. Just give us original Rebirth Island, that's all we want. Um, but yeah, overall, mate, I will, I will probably, I'll probably get a video on there soon. I'll probably record myself playing it, post a video. I'll drop in like the world record. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, see how I feel. But well, uh, happy. Have you had chance to watch any of my videos though of me playing the game? What do you think? Like all these people calling me a boss. What are we saying? Am I a boss? Prison's still good. They've ch they haven't changed us except the movement still sucks. All ah, right. I mean, when you say movement still sucks, like, are we talking like? Has it gone back to War, uh, Warzone 2 movements or... Was that sucked? No slide cancelling, no movements at all, nothing. I'm not a paid member either. What's this? <laughs> he answered me. What's, what's going on here? Why is everyone saying they're not a paid member? First of all, you should be. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. But second of all, like, is someone saying I'm ignoring them because they're not a paid member? Yo, HDCYT, what's good? I hope you're well. Everyone who's coming in as well, let me know if you found me through the shorts feed or not. Made the dozer, what's good, mate? I hope you're well. Show your gameplay. 
they sell Acronis in the UK. You know, was that meant to say Cronus? Acronis. I don't know what Acronis is, mate. <laughs> am, I, am, I, am I dummy at all? Have you misspelled something? What's going on? John said you are ignoring him because he's not a paid member. I can't even see a comment from a John. Wait there. Who is it, John Root? Because I've already replied to him before. Shady Nation says, you're not a bot. You're just legit in today's world. If you aren't cheating, they say you're a bot. Yes, I agree, Shady Nation Gaming. Unfortunately, right, these guys are like, <laughs> state of his centering, he's awful. State of this, state of... Like, the reality is, yeah. Hey, go and watch Nick Merckx play. Serious, go and watch his go and watch his gameplay and watch his centering and watch him missing shots and watch this and watch that, right? It's the same, right? Um and the only difference is when you go and watch one of these oh top of the world streamers, right? They're, they're fucking cheating. Like there's no no other way to explain it. Like, for example, you go and watch it tapper, like like he's he's like compare that to his original gameplay on Warzone 1. Just go and watch his gameplay now and compare it to Warzone 1. Tell me the difference. Show the broadcast icon next to your name on my follow channel list. All right, fair enough. That makes sense then. That's fine. I'm just trying to figure out whether or not I'm in the short feed on this live stream, which I'm meant to be, according to a YouTube tutorial video I've just watched. T90, what's good, mate? Easy bad boy. I'm not that easy, mate. <laughs> Funny how every time a big update on Warzone, all the cheaters emerge from their caves... Yeah, so the conspiracy theory behind that one, and this is a conspiracy theory, nothing to prove it or add it up yet. Um, but my theory is this. People take breaks just before an update because they know a band wave's coming. These are whitelisted people, but their accounts actually still get permabanned. But what they're able to do is because they're using external DMA cheats, they can act, like speak to their Activision representative after their account gets permabanned and say, excuse me, I've been permabanned falsely. You can scan my PC, do all the checks you need. I want my account back, right? And their Activision representative will do all the work behind the scenes, scan their account, see nothing's actually been injected into the game because guess what? External DMAs. And then they get their account back and then all of a sudden they're back off from their family vacation or their house is no longer flooded or they're no longer held up at gunpoint at the gas station. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And this is why... People called me weird for this, by the way, but I logged and, and timestamped everything when it came to z -Lena's excuses. Every single time was during an update and a band wave. He was doing something else. Oh, I'm just going to visit family. Oh, I'm just going around to see Jay Lena. Oh, I've just been held up at gunpoint. I am moving house. He moved house three times in, like, I think a year. And on top of that, his house flooded twice. On top of that, he got held up at gunpoint. He visited family about five times. And all the while, right, it was while band waves were happening and updates were happening and he's not the only one by the way he's just one of, i i shared these things publicly about and made let, let it be known that i was paying attention but he's not the only one i was paying attention to there were multiple other people doing the same thing so but like at the, at the end of the day right i've got proof of all of these excuses of zelena I've got proof that they line up perfectly with ban waves and updates on the game. But there's no proof to say that his account has been perma banned other than one one time. And this one time was like back in the day when, when COD Tracker was on fire and Warzone stats was on fire. And by on fire, I mean they were giving us all that nice, good information, right? And what happened was one day, Z Lane's stats just went, like, they were going up and up and up and just went, bump right back down to zero, right? And stayed there for about three days and then, bump straight back up to the normal uh, stats. Almost like his account had been banned for them three days and then he got his account back. Um, but that didn't last very long for us to be able to actually pay attention to that. I think that was Warzone stats that gave us that information. There was loads of good sites back in the day where we could literally check up on streamers cheating, whether they were VPNing into bot lobbies before anyone knew what a VPN was, right? Or whether they were actually using aimbot and wall hacks and being permabanned and whatever else. Imagine if Shanice gets replaced with someone more based, possibly someone that will take competitive integrity a little more serious. 
So is Shanice the only person that they have their only go to? Because I've seen a couple, like obviously based on emails sent back and forth. There's one from the Latam community who Tyson TV told me about. And um and then there was one from England who um the gaming definition told me about. <laughs> yeah. I got shadow banned for winning a solo. Got twelve kills and then got banned. Effing jokes. I've never used hacks. Don't even know how to. I mean, that 12 kill thing's uh, definitely a thing. Like, people forget Scump won the World Series of Warzone without actually grinding the game because he is an actual COD pro, unlike these fakes. Conroy, he, he didn't even have a riot shield. Like, every single person in that game was running around with riot shields, yeah? And he just shit on them, yeah? He was, I'm, I'm sure at the time he was, like, scrimming. Like, he'd been doing scrims all day. And I was like, oh, shit, I've got a Warzone tournament to go to. He turned up, he won the solo YOLO, 100 grand in his back burner. He was made up. You could tell as well the, ex the excitement in his voice. Like, he genuinely jumped up and down all around his room, screamed for his missus, I've just won! It was 100 grand, and you could see what it means to him. The best Call of Duty player ever to exist. And he reacts like that for beating all these guys, and it was easy for him. Yeah, his whole play style. He didn't need to learn the map. He didn't need to, like... You know, he just played the game. He's used to competing against high-level players. And that's why. It's Milligan. Are you in the Discord? Have you sent him a DM? Sorry, where am I? Yo, Jim, will be my previous message, bro. Might, might make a great video. I can't even see your previous message, mate. I have access to a Discord that only has cheaters. Uh, you can only join it by proving that you, you have hacks in the Discord. There's a lot of current and ex-top 250 players. I don't cheese them on PS5. Yeah, send information through the Discord. Uh, Maz will advise you once you get into Discord. Thanks, Maz, mate. Uh, nobody gets banned for no reason. I've been playing Warzone for years and never had an issue. Shadow bans are different, right? Shadow bans are different. It can happen. People can get shadow banned. It's not for no reason, by the way. It's still caused by one of the main reasons shadow bands occur and that's in-game reports but it's a broken system it really is you know you could, like why should we the we the players right and hear me out like let me just let me just clarify something now the streamers will say to say who is bad boy beaming he's just some random accusing people of cheating right yeah so what does that make everyone in the game who is allowed to hit report for cheating Right? You are just a random in the game accusing someone of cheating. The same applies for everyone, but that's the system that Activision built. That's the system they felt was going to work to allow us, the player base, to feel more involved. The only difference is I became vocal about it. I was I went out of my way and researched how the cheats work so that I could be more vocal about it and talk on these points of people cheating and earning money from it. So, who are you talking to, Mazza, mate? whoop on. Mazza, sorry, did you say you were going to come on Friday or not? Send your link to Tim on your Twitter account months ago. Let me have a look then. When did you send this? Raphael. Is your name Raphael on, on Twitter, by the way? Because people come in here and say something and then I'm like, I'll remember the name and I can't find it. I've actually got a message here from Hack and Fredward. ha. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I am working as well as doing this live stream. Yeah, I hope you guys know that. <coughs> Jeez. Did not expect to ever hear from him. I'm not going to lie. I was sitting on over 100 concurrent viewers, guys, but only 61 likes. Smash the like button. You something about... Is it up here, Mazze? So hit the buttons, hit the like, and something like that. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'm going to be dead serious. I don't know how it works. Um, Smiley says cheats are scum end of uh, but what makes it worse is that the streamers that do it are double whammy cheating by taking people's cash <laughs> yes exactly and they are protected uh... so I get it like listen like so 
a lot of people follow content creators who create content like fake beef and fake interactions. There's people online like Neon and uh, Vitaly and people like that. They stream on Kick. Like that Vitaly does like catching a predator, but it's all staged. Like it's all staged. Yeah, but people watch it because they think it's funny. And I understand that side of it, entertainment value. But what you've got to realise is these guys are cheating and earning money from tournaments as well as lying to their community about cheating. I think, honestly, there's got to be a whole system in play where if you are cheating, just come out and say, listen, I'm using Aimbot. Um, I think it like it's been proven as well, right, without bringing uh, Happer back into this because Happer's changed his ways now. But back in the day, Happer would rage hack live on stream. There was other people as well, like... Um, Hacks gaming and and Darbo rages right, and 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 um, Barikua rage gaming right back then, like these guys would be sitting on like over a thousand concurrent viewers, watching them stream with the cheats on show because they're like, whoa, this is fascinating. How many kills can you get with that? Or people would be there waiting for them to die, going, oh my god, aim boss and wall hacks, and you still died. Like, uh, unfortunately, like you know, it can happen, but. I'm just saying there's a market for it. So I honestly think, like, obviously the only thing is, you know, you don't make it to the top. And you'll always have that bad stigma around you. But there's definitely a market there for cheats. People actually enjoy watching people cheat. Uh, CSGO, there's a whole community who do hackerverse hacker lobbies. Do you know what I mean? And I think the same should probably apply where they have dedicated servers for cheaters so that they can go and play without bothering any legitimate players. Imagine a lot in place that says you will face prison time of court cheating while streaming. I firmly believe a lot of pros would go legit. I do as well. I think that, that it's hard to implement on a game that's worldwide because them laws would have to come into play in every country. Yeah. Thoughts on BAMS? BAMS is a cheater, mate. This is true. I was there at one time. Exactly. Like, and there was platforms that were allowing it. Like, even, even Twitch, you'd get banned for, like, I don't know, five minutes, <laughs> two days or whatever, 24-hour ban, and then you're back. And then you've got people who were getting on Facebook gaming and figured out that there was no report option for cheating on there. You know what I mean? Um, and guess, guess where's he laying the streams? Just saying. Just saying. Um, Nick Savage also streamed on that platform. We well and truly exposed him. Now, this irritates me. Nick Savage built his career as a streamer, cheating from the very first upload he did on Facebook gaming, right? Aimbot was snapping on and locking on. He was using wall hacks as well. When I called him out, he deleted everything Call of Duty related off his page. He deactivated his page for like an hour, removed every live stream, every video and everything linked to Call of Duty. His whole community turned on him. Not whole community, but half of his community. They wanted answers. Bear in mind, he built his community up off like helping people with PTSD problems and, and mental health issues. That was his whole thing. I'm here to help you guys. I'm an ear for you to talk to. And then when these guys questioned his, his models, he was like, yo, get the F out of my community. You're not welcome here. And he was banning people and blocking people and stuff like that. These are people who'd sent him thousands of pounds in donations. And I know this because I engaged in conversations with these guys who'd sent proof of everything that was being said. And then... This is the part that irritates me. For about a year, Nick Savage starts playing this game. I think it might have been Assassin's Creed or something similar. And he was doing like 10, 15 views. I was made up. I was happy. But then somebody sent me a video the other day, about a month ago, saying, yo, have you seen this fight? It's brutal. Send me a video. And it's Nick Savage reacting to a bare knuckle fight. And it had 50 million views. So I go and have a look. I had a look at his page. I'm just going to quickly get it up now just so that I can tell you the exact numbers now. Nick Savage Facebook. Right? I'm just going to tell you now, right? It ain't good. Yeah, he's hit a million followers. Bear in mind, when I exposed him for cheating in Call of Duty, this guy had like 30,000 followers. He's now got 1 million followers on Facebook Gaming. And his videos, when you look at them, let me find them. Videos, right? It's just him reacting to fights, by the way. And it's like... Wait there, why is it... 
So we are 128,000 views, 129,000 views, 1.5 million views, 2.3 million views, 528 million views, 7.4 million views. And let me explain something to you. I upload to Facebook, yeah? I upload to Facebook, and I'm going to be dead honest with you now, right? I My videos don't do well on views for Facebook, but I still take home about £3,000 a month minimum, yeah? So based on what I earn from the views I get, right? Nick Merckx, sorry, Nick Savage. I don't know why I said Nick Merckx. Nick Savage, of the views he gets each month, is taken home somewhere in the region of 250,000 to 400,000 pound a month. And this is a guy who started his content creation career as a cheater. So tell me why people wouldn't cheat in a video game. Tell me why they wouldn't try and gain a presence in any way possible. This guy's a narcissist. He's so narcissistic to the point that he he turned on his community who he was meant to be supporting through their PTSD and mental health problems just so that he could continue to make money. And then he found something that clicked and worked. And now he's making millions, literally millions. So I'm dead honest about how much I earn on YouTube, roughly. And I'm being dead serious now. I've never said this publicly, actually, but like no one's ever asked. But on, on all my channels, I take home about 10 grand a month. Yeah. On top of that, I've got Facebook, about three to five grand a month. Right. That's a lot of money. I'm happy. I, I'm happy. I don't care about, like, I want to be a millionaire. I don't want to be a celebrity who goes out and gets spotted everywhere he goes. Although that did happen this morning. I did get spotted. But <clears throat> when you've got people like Nick Savage who literally deserve to be living in the gutter after what they've done to a, a community of people suffering with PTSD, right? And he's earning millions. Literally about a quarter of a million pound a month he's earning. That's just off his videos as well, by the way. You know, he does live streams as well. So I was actually going to take a, like a leaf out of his book and just turn my Facebook page into reacting to fight content. And I still might do that. I genuinely still might do that. Um, because his reactions are awful as well. But he's got, yeah, look, there's one here. 49.8 uh, million. 63 million. That's, a, that's views. That one video, 63 million views, right? Probably has made him about 700 grand. John Root says, in the wrong career, mate. Can I get a pay rise, mate? Only need an extra 10 quid for petty, mate. No, get the train, lad. Hey, get the train. <laughs> Mazza, lad, coming in with the... Well, Mazza, listen, mate. Stop going and talking about unions and me chatting that, mate. It ain't happening, lad. You're sacked. You get sacked in the morning. Sacked in the morning. I know it wouldn't end uh, the cheating. If they just left off crossplay and have uh, console versus console JD is the way forward. That's how crossplay should be. But the reality is, right? I used to uh, when I was younger. I used to go out and buy a PlayStation. Always PlayStation. And I'd have friends who were on Xbox, and they'd be like, "Oh, you need to get Xbox." I'd be like, "Nah. If you want to play with me, go and buy a PlayStation." And that's how it was. And then you'd have mates you play with and mates you don't, and that was it. It's the unfortunate thing. And that's how it should be, I just think. Just keep everyone to themselves, because I, I I don't remember ever having a cheating problem until cross-play come into Call of Duty. Do you know what I mean? Okay, you'd be like, mm, I think that guy was using Rapid Fire. He's using, a, he's using a Cronus or a Strike Pack, right? That was the worst problem you could have when it was PlayStation-only lobbies. That was the worst problem. And now we're talking about, like, yeah, hmm, the, you know, aim bottom wall hacks. It's not good. Uh, John Root, I support Liverpool, mate. Hope you're doing well. Uh, do you have a couple of social clips this stream? No, it ain't like that. I'm, I'm streaming off a mobile phone at the minute, mate, so no. Um, yeah. Get your petty from the Costco kid at the set. I'll tell you what, right. Hey, I might go Costco today, you know. What time is it? It's half 12. Hmm. I don't know if I'm earning money off this live stream, by the way. Like, usually adverts run on a live stream for me and I earn money off it, but I don't know whether this is, just so you know. So, yeah, um, if I was to start doing React content to, like, fight footage, would you guys watch it on Facebook? Do Hey, tell, yo, tell me in the chat how many of you guys follow my Facebook page. And have a look now. I've got 24.5k followers on Facebook. And, Andre, if you're going to uh, go to Costco, 
Rabbi Shem Chicken Nuggets. Why would you want? Why would you want chicken nuggets from Costco, mate? Did you do like? Is there like special chicken nuggets? Do you do? Oh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm excited now. I, I go for the chicken bakes, me. Um, I, like you know, yeah, I'll go into a shop and I, my shop consists of buying a box of sugar waffles, a box of them square shortbread chocolate chip things, um, and they used to do this large tub of egg mayo, best best egg mayo I've ever had, but they stopped doing it. So I buy the chicken and bacon mayo filler now for sandwiches. And then I, I'll go to check out and I'll be like, ooh, go on then, I'll have a chicken bacon and a hot dog on my way out. You know the score. T90, when you say the cookies, are you talking about the shortbread ones? The ones that are like square with the chocolate chips in, they're banging, oh my God, I love it. Why are you in stitches, Mazza, mate? Oh yeah, yeah, he set me off, Annie. Hey, do you know what it is? I had a Hello Fresh meal yesterday. I ate nice. Triple B gets a glizzy on the way out. I'll take a glizzy on the way in if they were offering it, lads, I'll tell you. <laughs> what did he say? Any cookies, even the green ones? Whoa. I'm going to think Costco's different in America, mate. Are you from America, C90? What's going on here? Green cookies. Did they just call cookies, like biscuits, cookies? Slapping glizzies on the way out. Listen, Conroy, right, I'm going to be honest with you. The gym I'd seen in, they'd done like a little bit of a family get-together thing, like inviting families down and whatnot from the community. Great of them. But they had a shitload of leftover hot dogs, yeah? And I'm like, you know what? What are you doing with them hot dogs there? <laughs> they'd been sat there for about two weeks. They were all in jars, sealed and everything like that. They were still good to go. I said, I don't know. Why do you want some? I was like, yeah, yeah. So I pulled my car around and I filled my boots. I, I went home, I counted them when I got home. And I actually had 244 hot dogs just on my kitchen side. I was like, okay, this is going to get interesting over the next few weeks. Have you ever seen that? Um, the gif of the girl and all the sausages just flying onto her face. Well, I lived that life for about, <laughs> for about a week. Yeah. And, and I was like, every time I got hungry, I was like, yeah, I'll have some hot dogs. I wasn't like wrapping them in buns and that. I was just eating the sausage, microwaving it, bang, eat it. So yeah, I had a lot of sausage in my mouth over the last uh, month or so. <laughs> yeah, biscuits are different in the US. Biscuits is like a, a scone, isn't it? Like a like dried bread. That's what you call a biscuit. It's like a scone. Landed the glizzies at your gaff, Conroy, it was, mate. Yeah. I was walking like John Wayne for at least a month. Um, but don't get me wrong, I enjoyed every second of it. I swear to God. Yeah, no, I'm telling them I enjoyed it. I swear. Don't shoot me. <laughs> See, I was held at gunpoint, guys. <laughs> um, no, no, but in all reality, yeah, I love a hot dog, me. And we just go like the fun fair or the theme park, and then it's just like. They have hot dogs, so I, I always, I always when I go to a theme park, I have a hot dog because I want to know what they do. I went to a place called Drayton Manor in the UK. It was a belter theme park, by the way. Great rides if you're in the UK, go there. And <clears throat> what they've done, they got a baguette, right? Chopped it in half, right? So you've got half a baguette now. And then they hollowed it out from the inside. I don't know how they've done it, but they cut all the bread off from the inside. Put the sauce all inside and then... Dropped the hot dog in, and it was the best hot dog I've ever had. Nowhere else in the world has ever done a hot dog as nice. And maybe Costco close second, like, but yeah, yeah. The stand up roller coaster was a belter, but you know what? T90, right? While I was there, the one ride that made me ill, bear in mind this is years ago. The one ride that made me ill was the teacups because you're spinning yourself, and my mate was just going, wah, 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 and we were just going. Wah, wah, wah. Like, it was at that point where if I had to let go, I was flying out. And when it stopped, the fella, like, the ride stopped, but we were still spinning, and the fella didn't know what to do, because usually he'd, like, stop it by the handle of the teacup. And he couldn't, because we were spinning that fast. He's going, guys, you've got you to gotta slow it down. So we're, like, trying to slow it down with the thing in the middle. We couldn't. When I got off that ride, I vomited everywhere. And then, other than that moment, I've never vomited at another theme park ever in my life, ever. All I needed was a load of glizzies, man. <laughs> so I'll say safely that it doesn't look like we end up in the short feed on these live streams, but I'm definitely enjoying live on my phone while I'm actually getting work done. I've had someone reach out to me about potentially um, Phase Booyah being exposed massively. So that should be good.
Oh, also, hey, um, obviously, I don't know whether you guys have been around for a while, but I have a sponsorship with a company called Flexi Spot, and we've got a, uh, another collaboration coming up soon where I'm going to be incorporating a integrated advert into one of my videos. They've reached out to me, right? They, I've done five videos for this company in the past, and it's all been desks, right? And a part of the, you know, the payment is a desk, so they pay me plus a desk, right? I've got a desk here that I'm sat at now. I've got the desk behind me with my second PC on. I've given my partner a desk for their room um, and sold two of the other desks, like, because I've had that many. Um, and they reached out to me the other day and they're like, hi, it's Flexi Spot, we'd love to do it. And I was thinking, oh, not again, another desk, you know. But they've actually reached out to me for a recliner chair. I'm so happy because... <coughs> oh, canal. There's a there's a space in the office over there at the minute. It's just got loads of boxing attire just on the floor over there. Loads of boxing gloves, groin guards, head guards, all that. So I'm gonna tidy that area up and have like a recliner chair there. All I'm gonna get then after that, just on this area here, I'm gonna get a TV put up on the wall. And I'm basically sorted. You know what I mean? I'll just finish work here, sit on my chair, watch the telly for a little bit. All I need now is one of them ring doorbells, which I don't know why I haven't got one yet. So one once so that when people are at the front door of my house, they can ring the doorbell and then it pops up on one of my monitors, like like the image. So I can like be like, yo, what's happening, bro? Leave it at the door, please. You'd be shocked the amount of times I've missed parcels that are meant to be coming. Like I've been excited that parcels coming. But it's like, we'll deliver between 6 a.m. and 12 midnight. Like I'm not waiting around all day. You know what I mean? JD says, get me a desk, lad. <laughs> nah, mate. JK, um, you're the boss. You are. Not me. You are. I'd, what, 1v1 me in a boxing ring, lad. What? Say something. I didn't think so, mate. 10 grand a month and no camera ring. Well, yeah, but... Like, you got to understand, T90, yeah? We started at the bottom, now we're here. But that's average, like, over, over the years. Like, that's about roughly average. It's up and down, fluctuates. And then on top of that, you've got tax bills to pay. You've got this and that to pay, you know? Um... So yeah, it gets stressful. Like I'm, I'm not just a YouTuber. I'm a businessman, an entrepreneur. I, I, I run multiple businesses. So yeah, keep getting those updates saying it's. So if it's from like every oh, carbonate, you're probably in America, aren't you? So like you did mention America before, but now in this country we have a company called Every. Right, I can't remember what they used to be called now. Um, I think it was Hermes. Called Every now, and they. They notify you, oh, we will be uh, dropping your parcel off between this time and then it, you, you're waiting and then it updates and it's like at the other end of the day. Imagine taking like half a day off work because you need this parcel to arrive on a certain day for like one of your kids' birthdays or something and then it doesn't arrive on time and they update it. You'd be devastated. Entrepreneur. I am an entrepreneur. A.E. Grimes, good morning to you too. 10 quid a month. And he's not got a ring doorbell. I don't care, mate. Ring doorbells at all. Like, they're not the rage, are they? So what I want to actually have is a full CCTV camera linked up to this system that I'm sat at now. I've got the CCTV set up. It's just not linked to this system yet. And what I want is when someone presses the doorbell, that it all comes and, like, just pops up on one of my monitors. I think that'd be sick. Whoa, da Dan, why, why are you being like that, mate? Why are you bringing me old boots into it, lad? You ever had your head punched in by someone wearing up boots, mate? Because it's going to happen. <laughs> Down in Devon, are you, mate? I've been to Devon. I remember that was one of my first um, staycations when I was a kid. Yeah, I went down to uh, like a caravan site down there. I enjoyed it, but it just I felt like I was abroad because it was so far. Yeah. Um, what, though? You were sounding off when I met you the other week. And it annoys me how much shit people talk. Listen, it is... Listen, I'm I'm not a knobhead, you know. People think I'm a knobhead because they don't like the idea that I fucking... You know, that I expose the favourite streamers. But at the end of the day, we're all just humans. We're all just people. Do you know what? Like, I, I've always kept it, like, 100. In real life, I'm FA Swag at the Manchester City Etihad Stadium. <coughs> and I was respectful because I'm not going to turn up and be a childish dickhead and try and kick off on someone. I wanted to ask questions. He didn't want to answer. Job done. We we'll leave it as that, you know. And and Swag spoke to me with respect as well, other than not answering me questions. Oh, 
Oh shit, what am I doing? I'm trying to upload the video at the minute and it's just not letting me. I just don't understand why people are mocking me for wearing Ugg boots either, by the way. Listen, if you're not if you're not man enough to wear a pair of Ugg boots, are you really a man? Do you know what I mean? You haven't felt comfort like it. I'll tell you now, any, any shoes you've ever put on your feet that you think are comfortable, guys, believe me. Guys, when you slide your feet into them clouds of absolute amazing heavenly comfort, there's no going back. Everyone says the same thing about, about Crocs. Yeah, I've never tried Crocs. And I'm like, oh, I won't wear them, they look shite, but I've been told once you put them on, there's no going back. So I've never put them on, but with Ugg boots, I fell into a trap. My missus was like, hey, try them on. I was like, all right, sound cool, yeah, I'll put some on. And then I was like, wow, they're amazing. So I bought myself a pair for around the house, hear me out, just to wear around the house as like slippers, right? Um, and accidentally ended up going to shop in them. No one, no one battered an eyelid. I was wearing Ugg boots at the shop. No one said anything, so I was like, okay, cool, I've got away with it. Maybe I'll do it again. And it become a thing, and now I've, I've actually had about eight or nine pairs of Ugg boots. So, is what it is, sorry. <laughs> sorry. In the sense that people tend to act as if you don't know your shit, when to be fair, you do. You mentioned stuff that lots of people only know about if you're genuinely knowledgeable. Well, Dan, that's the thing. So a lot of people, I, I, I've actually seen other people try and do Hacker Hunter content like I do. And when I've asked them, you know, how, how, how come you got into it? They'll be like, oh, I've been watching you for about a year and, like, learned quite a lot off you. So we thought we'd put our take on it. And by the way, just to be clear, I'm talking about Goon Squad right now. If you don't know them, don't worry about it because they've stopped doing the Hacker Hunter stuff and completely done a 180 like Headband did. But these guys, like, learn what they know off me. The knowledge I'm putting out in my videos, showing people how cheats actually, like, change the outcome of certain, like, mechanics within the game. And, and they use that information. But then they try to turn on me later down the line. And anyone who's who's been around for a while will know every single YouTuber who's tried to go against me. Well, where are they now? <laughs> Gone. See you later. Goodbye. Because the fact is, real knowledge beats fake knowledge every single time. Rigger boots are men's Uggs. Nah, boss levels, mate. Listen, your rigger boots, the, sh the sheep skin inside that, the wool inside that, right, that ends up flat after about half a day. I swear to God, your first day in rigger boots, you're like, you know what, these are belted, these. I feel sick. Need to muck them up a little bit so it don't look too fancy. But you know what? After the first couple of days in them, mate, they're ruined. The insides, there's no padding, nothing. Ugg boots, mate, you can have them on for two years without taking them off. And the sheepskin inside will still be fluffy and bouncy and warm. Believe me. And believe me when I say this, yeah, you can get working Ugg boots. You can go and get a pair of Ugg boots that look like rigger boots. That was actually, um, you know, the second pair of Ugg boots I bought because I used to have a garage. I used to, I used to run a, um, like a, a mechanic garage. It was more of a breaker's yard, to be fair. But, yeah, I had Ugg boots, rigger boots. Listen, boss levels, right, I, I reached out to Ugg uh, about a year ago asking if they'd sponsor me, and they never got back to me. There's another company called Udi. I reached out to them to see if they'd sponsor me as well. They never got back to me. But I see them sponsoring small creators on, like, TikTok and stuff, so I don't know why they wouldn't sponsor me. I'm very outspoken, and people don't like that. People don't like it when someone doesn't, like, fit in that little narrative, you know. Unfortunately, that's, that's happened a lot. I have people reaching out to sponsor me all the time, then I have to decline the sponsors, VPN companies, cheap companies. Imagine the scenes. So imagine this. I could be paid 10 grand to go and sponsor a specific cheap provider and I turn them down or ignore the emails because I'm not I'm not doing it. You know, the whole concept of my channel is fuck cheaters. So I'm not gonna promote cheats. At least not get paid to do it. When I do it, I do it because I'm trying to explain and, and educate people on how they work. <laughs> Bad Boy Beeman sponsored by Ugg, you know. Hey, listen, we should start it, right? Everyone get on Twitter now, start tagging Ugg. You should sponsor this, man. I swear to God, I'll post a selfie in my best Uggs. Watch. I'll do it. 
That's why I've been on in a while, to be fair. Nah, listen, it's just chilled, isn't it? Just chilled on live off my phone. It's a weird one, to be honest. I feel, I think it's more personal for the viewers on, on, on a mobile or tablet device, this, which, by the way, is like 87% of my viewer base. So it makes sense for me to go live like this. Obviously, listen, hear me out. If I decide to go live to do like a demonstration or reaction or something like that, we'll have to do it off the PC. But I think moving forward, this is definitely the way. I'm just trying to figure out whether or not I can turn this onto subscriber only mode without it affecting me. So we're going to do it now, save. So I can still manage all of this from the PC, by the way. It's fucking sick, you know. I'm not going to lie. We'll do it in a while. A while, Rupert. Rupert, get on there now, mate. Rupert, you know. Oh, me crypto's going up. That's what we're talking about. I had four notifications this morning of me cryptocurrency that I've invested in going up by like tens and five percent and that every time. The last hour, 10.9 percent. Yes, mate. What's up, Trips? How's it been, brother? Fight now soon, eh? Ed Schism in the Chizat. What's going on, mate? I hope you're well, lad. Um, no, no fight yet. I've had multiple fights pull out on me, mate. Like, I've been training, and then the fight has pulled out. Oh, I'm not fighting him in 10-ounce gloves. Have you seen how hard he is? My coach has said I can't fight him unless it's 16-ounce gloves. It's just the, the, the world's full of pussies. Simple as that. Like, bunch of men claiming to be men, claiming to be fighting men. And when it comes down to it, and they get met with someone like me who can actually fight, they're like, oh, my God, I do not want this smoke. And they end up disappearing, dip, dip, dipping out. But one of the last guy who backed out on me is fighting on, fighting tomorrow in Birmingham. I was meant to be fighting tomorrow in Birmingham. And the lad I was meant to be fighting pulled out because his coach said he can't fight in anything other than 16s. But the agreement was a 10-ounce glove fight, no head guards for the heavyweight title over four rounds, right? That was, that was it. He agreed to it. We announced the fight and then he bottled it. My coach has said this. Turns out, anyway, he's actually still fighting on the event. So I had to make a, pub a public announcement to state this guy ducked me and the rules and everything in play. And that is why I'm not fighting on the events. And he's still fighting, but he's fighting a guy who's like, you know, on a weight loss journey. You know, he's doing well, respect to him. Um, Lewis Alpha Smile, his name is. And I just feel like uh, I hope he wins, but I don't know whether he will. Wag is back in area, Maida. What do you mean he's back home? All jokes aside, well done, lad. You've come from nothing. I mean, what, listen, I've always been a grafter, mate. I've always put the hard work in. I've always, you know, I've had multiple businesses that have been very successful from the, from a very early age, from the age of 18. I literally, like, like I had my own business running boxing promotions and talent shows and stuff like that. And uh, I was making a lot of money back then. The only problem I had back then was that I was not very good at managing my money. Um, I'm not I'm not much better at managing money now, to be honest. I get a I get an email like, yo, you owe the tax man six grand. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I have to pay that next month. You know what I mean? Like it's just I don't know. I think that's the ADHD side of me, to be honest. Like I just forget these things. Like I need to pay someone to to manage my books for me. I've got an accountant and they do manage my books. It's more the financial side of things that I need, like a financial advisor, I suppose. <laughs> 16 ounce gloves, lock, locked it up, switch to UFC, that's an issue you won't have. Yeah, but like, UFC is also not just boxing, I'm a boxer, I'm not trained in any other martial arts, so it just doesn't make sense. Stephen Davis, what's good mate? No wag is at his uh, girlfriend's house. So, hang on mate, what? whoa, whoa! So wag's still in Birmingham right now, let's get the tweet going. Is that, what, is that what you're telling me? Because he was in Birmingham the other week, wasn't he? Yeah, JD, mate, it happens to the best of us, though. But money's there to be enjoyed, by the way. And if you get enough of it to be able to enjoy it, enjoy it. You know, there's people in the world struggling. And, and I just think that every opportunity where you have money, you should really invest in, in yourself and your own happiness, you know, if that means buying a trackie or a new car or, or going on holiday, whatever, spend your money, it's there to be spent. I don't like people who save all the money. Invest, I like investing. I don't like to save, I like to invest because there's a little bit of a chance about it, a little bit of a gamble, a bit of a thrill. You know, you could, especially with like crypto or stocks and stuff like that, if you invest in that, you check it every day, like, oh, where's my money at, where's my money at, you know what I mean? And I enjoy that stuff. 
Um, right there. Right. Okay. Okay. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna find this DM. I've got for, I, I sent him a DM the other week. This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna invite him to this boxing show. So I've sent the messages over. Sorry, guys, I was just typing. I, I've got slow granddad fingers, I suppose. My hands are constantly beating things, you know what I mean? So they don't work properly. But yeah, I've sent him a message anyway. I've sent a Wagnificent. Uh, Yo, Wag, I'm in Birmingham tomorrow from 1pm until around 11pm. I'm at a boxing event in Birmingham City Football Club. Do you want to meet up, have lunch and do an interview? Right? Respectful, Yeah. Um, we can both record, both ask each other questions, etc. Now, now, bear in mind, on a live stream the other week, he did say that it'd be interesting to do. I didn't know how long he was in the UK for, so I thought it was like a big rush. Obviously, Mirda Dozer's saying he's still in the UK. And for those who don't know, Mirda Dozer and Wagnificent, well, they go way back, yeah? So, um, yeah, he's definitely keeping tabs on Wag, the same way I keep tabs on Z-Lena, by the way. So it's that sort of thing. Um can't take it with you, lad. As long as your family is straight, just live your life, mate. Of course, lad. Yeah. Everything I do, every investment I make, every decision I make with my money is definitely to benefit my kids in the future. <coughs> I treated myself to a trick and a pack of Monster Munch. That's made my day. It's right, lad. You know what, though? Not on beat a good chocolate bar and a pack of Monster Munch. Ooh, actually, do you know what? Barbecue Transformers over Monster Munch. I'm just saying it. But Monster Munch is still decent. Yeah, I like the uh, what are the red hot monster munch of all that. What's going on, Grandpa? Hacks in the his house, in the his house. So I don't know if I'm showing up on the short feed still, by the way, and it's kind of irritating me. Um, there's definitely a way to do it from the PC, but the idea I wanted is to go live off the phone. Um, and if I go live off my phone, then I can still work on the PC, which I'm still doing still working from the pc i am gonna leave this up as well you know like may as well innit i mean just two secs right there do you know what it is right i've been going live on tiktok and it's this whatever's going on here this is exactly what tiktok does um, the only difference is I get when I go live on TikTok, loads of people start sending me all sorts of donations because the platform sort of pushes it on people, I think. So I get lots of donations over there, but I'm not too bothered by that stuff. <coughs> so I'd rather keep everything in one place related to the hacker hunting. Do you know what I mean? Also, guys, go and follow me TikTok account, Bad Boy Beeman. Yeah, go and follow me. Follow me on all socials. Uh, let's show some support. I'm going to have some fight announcements coming up soon as well. I think the first place I'm going to announce these is in my Discord server. Mazza, tell them all about the Discord, lad. Uh, I think Jimmy has them in his shop at the end of Corpy Road. Sorry, he has what? In his shop. Hey, hey Dan. Hey, Dan. What, what are you doing knocking about Corpy Road for, lad? <laughs> no way. Don't go to talk. It's Adi Adios then. Uh, people are trying to ring me. This is the only downfall now to being live on my phone. Let me think.
yeah. It's just my boxing coach trying to ring me. He's obviously coming up with me tomorrow to Birmingham, so I think he's just wanting to know what's going on. So, so this is what I mean, Grandpa Hacks, right? I'm going to see if he's live now, quickly. Also, right, just want to reiterate how pissed off I am. And I shouldn't... I am jealous, by the way. This is jealousy. I'm jealous that a person who used cheats, Nick Savage, used cheats and somehow was able to have over a million followers on Facebook and earn hundreds of thousands a month. Sorry, that's off my chest now. But let me tell you this. If you guys have got spare time in the day, set up a Facebook page, start reacting to fight content. Yeah? And once you're monetized, you will be flying. So Magnificent's live. Now, also, just to be clear, I can't type in his chat. So if you guys do want to go in his chat, feel free. If you're on a PC, why is that little bit of hair there? Just like random. I'm going to have to shave, aren't I? Oh, God. But yeah, just go, go in his chat and just let him know. Triple B's DM jet. He's in Birmingham tomorrow. Don't say Triple B. Actually, that's manly. What do you mean? It's Chinese, mate. If everyone changes to that, it's gonna be China real fast. I don't, I don't get what you mean. What's, what's wrong with that, mate? I haven't heard that name for a while. Nick Savage, exactly. But Nick Savage literally was a nobody. He wasn't a nobody. He used to sit on like 600 concurrent viewers, lying to people, getting donations from people from his community that he built on on false promises related to him helping people with PTSD. And then when he got exposed, he, he, he I thought that was it because he went on Assassin's Creed and stuff, ended up with like 15, 16 viewers. So I was happy, ruined him. But he's rebranded. Well, he hasn't even rebranded. He's just repurposed his page and started reacting to fight content. And believe me, his first video he ever posted done millions of views. So he's obviously just stuck with what's worked. He is partnered, by the way, on Facebook still. Triple B or B, man. Yeah, are you in his chat now? If, hey, let me know if he's in his chat. I remember that Nick Savage, you exposed him on COD and he moved to different games and deleted all his COD videos. Yeah, but he left one on he left one on Twitter as well, so I ended up making a follow-up video and it was so blatant that he was using wall hacks and aimbot in it. But he doesn't care. He's a millionaire now, mate. And now he's teaching other streamers how to act bad. Yeah. Wags on Twitch. Wags on Twitch. He's live right now. It's just annoying that um, I haven't got an alt account on Twitch. Streamers don't usually block me. The only two to ever block me is Wagnificent and Mutex. <laughs> Against Jake Paul and somebody someday against Tyson, that would be gold. Listen though, Rupert, my dad wouldn't fight Mike Tyson. He's an old man and I, I've got a lot of love for him. He was a part of the reason I got into boxing throughout my life. Um, him and Prince Nazim. So I've got the ferociousness of Mike Tyson and the style of Prince Nazim with the showboating and whatnot. Um, you'll see it all when I, when I get my debut on Misfits, which should be soon. You, you guys will see how much... Of a, of a talented boxer I actually am. Yeah, they can bail out whenever they want. Bear in mind, I Poseidon still involved in like the Misfit scene and that, you know. Joe Calzaghi was a big part of me um, enjoying boxing as a kid as well. I loved the fact that everyone accused him of slapping. Like, you're not going to beat me with them slaps because he, like, done this weird, like... And then after after every fight, it was like, yo, hey, they were the hardest slaps I've ever had, you know? Which I find hilarious, by the way. Can I change colours on this? Let's have a look. What? Back in the day, in the Western films. Nice 
wild, this, you know. <clears throat> I think he's just going to ignore me, you know. Which is unfortunate, isn't it? I think like just just incorporating in real life content to the channel with with some of these cheaters, like me interviewing Magnificent over a breakfast. So it just looks like we're two chilled guys having a breakfast or a lunch, whatever. I'll even pay for the meal, I don't care. And we just discuss the things that have gone on. Like just like two lads having a chat and then post a video. You know, two cameras set up, one on him, one on me, with microphones on each of us while we're eating and stuff and talking. And just let it flow naturally, and obviously, like edit the video up nicely. I just think that kind, that kind of thing. That's like, that's a viral video, but I think that Magnificent knows that, and might be the reason why he doesn't want to actually come down because he knows I'll post the video out before he can. And um, also, I don't think he's got the right answers. Sorry, I don't think he's got his lies lined up properly yet. Do you know what I mean? That's called a podcast, yeah, I mean, you can call it a podcast, whatever. I did actually run a podcast at one point, the Triple B podcast, if you guys remember. Um, and we absolutely humiliated Ra Ra on it. We uh, we had a tapper on, we had Boz Wellington on, and and I think, you know, it was it was doing really well. It really was, until it wasn't. And numerous breaks which had an impact on his ability to bang as hard as, hard as he could. You sure how hard he could bang when he sent you bank across the ring? Yeah, definitely. Um, there was multiple fighters that he that he embarrassed, to be honest. Um Yeah, Jeff Lacey. Jeff Lacey was an absolute unit back in the day. Like I've always followed mainly, right? Like I followed I followed Ricky Hatton's whole career. I followed Prince Nazim's whole career. Um Joe Calzaghi's late career because my brother was more into Joe Calzaghi at a younger age. And then, obviously, I found the heavyweight division. My, my dad would stay up and watch all the heavyweight fights, Mike Tyson, um, you know, Hollyfield, all these guys back in the like early 90s. And I'd stay up late I'd, or he'd wake me up to come down and watch it. You know, Mike Tyson was the one for me. It was just like watching him box. You just didn't know what was going to happen. I remember watching it live. When he when he bit Hollyfield's ear off, I was like, "Dad, he's biting him! He's biting him, Dad!" <laughs> I loved every second of it as well. You know, honestly, it was yeah, yeah. Go on, get the whole ear off. I was I was chanting for him and cheering for him. Go on, because do you know what, mate? Hollyfield was head butting him all the way through that fight. He kept going in with the head. He got in with the head and come up like that, and people weren't noticing it. The ref didn't notice it. There was no warnings given. So yeah, Tyson got frustrated. Don't mean nothing that like. Wasn't just a class fighter. We should top blow too. Ricky Atten, yeah. Um Yeah. And he couldn't have sniff a lot. What? <laughs> what? Nah, I mean Ricky Atten's sound as, don't get me wrong, sound as. I love the fact of how, how he was called the Fat Man Hatton and he turned up to his fights in a big sumo suit and that because he will balloon up between fighting and cut weight so quick. Um makes you wonder what sort of like peptides or, or you know, heads he might have been using to get that weight cut so clean in ten ten weeks, I think he used to do it. I asked him, he ignored me. Fair enough. The chances are Grandpa hacks. He's gonna to continue to ignore people. It's real life. You know what I mean. This isn't online, and he has threatened me on a live stream in the past. He did say that if he saw me in real life, what he'd do. Thing is, the last messages I sent to him was, "Hey, we can. I can bring spare boxing gloves, and we can have a spa at a local gym." Yeah. Lots of bin bags, and a few trackies, mate. Yeah, I mean, listen, that only cuts water. All of what you've said there only cuts water. It's like me, I sit in a sauna suit, in a sauna in the gym after the training session. I'll weigh myself when I get home and I'll be about seven or eight pounds lighter. But as soon as I go and demolish a bottle of water and, and something to eat, the weight's back on. And, and when you lose water weight, it doesn't make that fat go away. Yeah? 
it will make you lighter only because the water's not there. Um, a water cut will only tone you up if you're already pretty shredded, yeah? So there's got to have been something else in play. You must have had a great dietitian, nutritionist, whatever you want to call it. So I just walked in the door from work, was on my phone watching the stream, not sure if you've answered, mind if I ask you something. Was that the question? Yeah, I mind. Yes, I do mind. No, I'm joking. Go on, ask away. A.E. Grimes. Is that Grimes like... Like, what's his name? I want to say Nick Grimes, is it? Nick Grimes. Carl. 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 <laughs> That's me Nick Grimes impression anyway from Walking Dead. Carl. Rick Grimes, that's it. Nick Grimes, Rick Grimes, all the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> Why is Colt holding Hunter saying L? Why is he saying L, man? Come on. That's a good impression, Rick Grimes. Carl. Carl. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. <coughs> Yeah, Carol, Carol. That's the what's good, mate. Andrew Lincoln is a great actor, says Nomad. I'm guessing that's who plays Rick Grimes, because I remember him back in the day when he was in a TV show in England called Teachers, right? And it was just about a bunch of teachers who were a bit messed up in the head, go out drinking every night after work, and that was it. That was the show. And then I saw him on Walking Dead and I was like, I recognise him from somewhere. And it was about season two, I realised who he was. I was like, he's English. Like that guy, that fella is English and he's putting on that American accent, which is why he says things like, Carl, Carl. <laughs> Sounds like a cat pairing. You know, like what? Like, you know, Carl, Carl. I'm doing this like like he has a revolver and that, that's all. Isn't he just the one with Greg Davies? And I don't, I couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you who else is in it. I couldn't even tell you that, um, what Rick Grimes' actor's name was until that guy just said it in the chat then. What is going on with Cod? Uh, Alderoff, just to sum it up, it's um, absolutely ruined and it's shit and it's not worth playing it's full of cheaters and bugs and glitches and activision only care about revenue hope that summed it up quick enough for you man <laughs> yeah why is warzone dead because the game's literally dying a miserable death every single day less and less people are turning the game on and playing the game Re revenue for activision's lower and lower so they bring back rebirth island thinking it's going to bring everyone back and it probably will for a week until they realize it's full of rage hackers and the glitches and bugs are all still there people will get bored yeah so i've only ever i've only actually started playing the game properly recently to prove a point because obviously after tanking me stats playing doing stupid stuff like iceman isaac I feel like he actually sat there and waited because I was like a 1.3 KD even while messing about and then the last sort of couple of weeks I was going into the game and, and testing things. I ended up with a 0.92 KD and that's when Iceman Isaac decided to bring that up in a video. So I feel like he tried to expose me with false information like he'd waited and bided his time for that moment to bring that up and he did. But now I'm back up to like a 1.5 I think, 1.6 KD um, and in ranked I'm like a 3 KD so, it's what it is, isn't it? Diablo 4, terrible microtransaction game. Yeah, all of them are like that. Every every game. Who remembers Blackout? When you could literally just grind the game. Collect paint cans, unlock camos. Right? You'd collect paint cans and unlock camos, yeah? That's one thing. So that didn't cost any money. It just cost your time, which you do anyway because you're playing the game. And then they had uh, loot crates. So, after playing the game for so long, you'd unlock loot crates. And then loot crates would give you skins... They would give you operators, they would give you uh, camos and, and other things, calling cards and, and icons and whatever, right? All for free, by the way. And it was like, oh, they had this moment of realisation, like, shit, we could be charging people for every single thing here. And that's exactly what they did. How many cheaters are in the chat? Um, A few, probably. I assume should have stayed in the Navy, like the seaman he is. I mean, I think he was in the Air Force. 
not going to lie, but I mean, that's why he calls himself Iceman, you know, off Top Gun. Which, by the way, Iceman was like number two. Let's be honest. There is the making of money and new black holes of it. They're in the making of me. What? They're in the making of making a new Black Hole, apparently. I hope so. Black Hole will be epic. I loved supply drops. Yeah, exactly. The things you could get for free back in the day and now, nah. People have to pay for it. So people do go out the way and pay for and, um, an unlock all tool instead. That's the only thing that Activision seems bothered about. I'll be honest with you. If Unlock All two Tools were standalone and you could not have them based on, like, downloading cheats, I wouldn't even mind. I'll be honest with you. Getting free stuff out of the store, sound. If everyone had an Unlock All tool, everyone's got all the newest blueprints and skins and whatever else, it's cool. That's fine. But what I don't agree with is the fact that they're linked and tied to the cheat develop uh, the cheats that people download to cheat in the game. Why did the semen cross the road? Because I put on the wrong sock and oh, oh my god, Mazda, that is so great. <laughs> oh, why is my foot all crusty, mate? <laughs> That's terrible, lad. Honestly, your jokes are shite. Careful once you hit 30, you better be careful. Too much calcification will be bad for the body. You will have to check with your doctor regularly. What? Chair Force, then you ever played Hell Let Loose? What? So I flew planes when I was a kid. Like, I was in Air Cadets, right? RAF Cadets, whatever you want to call it. I got to fly in a RAF tutor, I got to fly in a Nimrod, I got to fly in a Tornado, um, and I got to be passenger in a Harriet, right? Harrier, sorry. So, I know how to fly planes. I reckon, I'd, I reckon you put me in a plane, put Iceman in a plane, I'd smoke him. And no matter, I hope Liverpool win the league, mate, yeah? Did you hear about the dude that had the peekaboo injury? Ended up in the ICU. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's with all the dad jokes? What are you insinuating in the chat? You're saying I look like an old man who enjoys dad jokes. Because I am, and I do. Um, I am actually going to have to get off this live soon. I've been live for an hour and a half, and I'm starving. And I, actually haven't, I haven't actually got much work done. So, fly, Katanaka's box, T90. Um, so, I'm not a very good dancer. I'm not a very good dancer. I can do gymnastics, though. I can do, like... And balance on my head and do handstands and do like uh, front handsprings, back handsprings, and um, yeah, but I can't dance, awful dancing. It's like the that's about it. And don't forget that I can sing as well. If you haven't seen my videos of singing, <laughs> if you want to laugh, go over to TikTok, follow Bad Boy Beeman, and you'll see the videos of me singing. I just throw them in once every blue moon, you know, like I'll be I'll, 10 videos exposing cheaters and then bam, we belong together and you know that I'm right. Why do you play with my heart? Why do you play with my mind? Anyway, obviously that's me taking the mic, but there are videos on TikTok of me singing like... <laughs> <laughs> and this is what it is, hey, listen, at the end of the day, I'm a content creator, yeah? I love Call of Duty. I want it to be a better game. And I think the community we've built here is solid and we can make enough noise to continuously make sure streamers have to hide their cheats, right? Or get caught. And I think that on top of that, I've got plenty of time in a day that it can be spent doing other things. So yeah, I do have fun from time to time as well. And I do get involved in like in real life content. Go and follow Bad Boy Boxing on YouTube. Go and follow more Bad Boy Beeman on YouTube. Go and follow Bad Boy Beeman on Instagram. Bad Boy Beeman on TikTok. Bad Boy Beeman 1 on Twitter. Just follow me up because I'm involved on all of these platforms every day getting involved. We can chat. We can talk. You can see things going on in different aspects of my life. You know, I'm, I'm throwing myself out there. I am uh, in the viewer's eyes. 
Mm, that's weird, then. I don't know. <coughs> you can pull off a pair of hooks too. Well, sometimes I have to get a little bit of help with that one. They can be difficult, especially in the winter, you know, when you've got to put two pairs of socks on and that as well. I won't be able to get on to too many as I normally in work. If you ever need new gutters or faces, strip will be pop into your old cell and I'll look after you, kid. Your old cell, mate, I'll do them myself. I used to be a roofer when I left school, you know. I used to do the faces, the gutters, the felt and battening, loading the roofs, putting the tiles and slates down. I used to do all the pointing on the chimneys, all the lead work, a lot, mate. So don't worry about it, lad. As long as you've got them at a cost price, the parts, that'll do me. Um, yeah, we got Nomad coming in with his 12 months, his first year as part of the Triple B fam. What's going on, Nomad? Thank you very much for the whole year spent here in this community. Look at all you guys about your badges next to your names. Unlocking. Eh? Angry Slion says, love your content, bro. Keep it coming. Yeah, I will. It's always going to be coming every single day. And, um, yeah. And we're trying to get sponsored by UGG. So put in the hard work, guys, for me on Twitter. Just every time I tweet something, just go over and be like, yo, UGG, sponsor this, man. <laughs> yeah. And I'll, I'll end every tweet. Like, it'll be like, see you later, caught cheating. By the way, I wear UGGs. And, I, and then you just like, be like, yo, Ugg, sponsor this, man. I think that'll work. Obviously, I'm only joking around, guys. But on that note, I am actually going to end the live. I don't know how to end the live right now, by the way. So we're going to figure it out now. Can I? We did. I can add tag products to live stream. What can I tag to live stream here? Oh, my God. But anyone who wants to support the boxing journey, um, we have got... Bad boy boxing hoodies available right now, right? So I don't know whether this is actually working or not. So, shit. It's meant to be pinning something to the live stream. That's done. Right? Done. But now I'm going to end the stream. So was that worth it? Probably not. I'll catch you all on the flip side anyway. Are you sure you want, this, want to stop streaming? Yes. So thank you all for coming in. It's been a great little chat, nice little test there to see how it goes. And I'll be able to see whether or not this ends up in the short feed after I've finished live. Do you get me? Which I doubt it will. But thank you very much, guys. And I'll probably go live again tomorrow when I'm, a bit, when I'm in Birmingham. So I'll see you later. Peace.